Hello guys, what is up? My name is Rohan Black and White and welcome to a Pokemon Showdown video where today we'll be going to do the words the UU tier and I have my team right here which if you want to check out we have a Choice Scarf, Hydreigon, Jolly, Max Attack, Max Speed, 4 in HP with Earthquake, Crunch, Outrage, and Acrobatics. Then we have our physically defensive Nidoqueen with Poison Point and Black Sludge. Gosh darn it cards I swear with Stealth Rock, Sludge Wave, Earth Power, and Toxic Flight, Super Ditto in HP and Defense, Bold Nature, and 4 in Special Attack. Then we have Slow King, Leftover Regenerator, Modest, Max HP, Max Special Attack, 4 in Special Defense with Psychic, Scald, Flame Thor, and Ice Beam. And then we have Forges, the special- oh, this doesn't have an item. Okay, so we have our special defensive Florges with 248 HP, 8 special attack, and 252 defense, Calm Nature with the Aromatherapy, Moon Blast, Wish, Giga Dream. No wonder I lost so many games with that Florges. And then we have Infernape here with the Muscle Band, Iron Fist, the Deadly, Mock Punch, Fire Punch, Thunder Punch, U Turn, Jolly, 252 attack, 252 speed, 4 HP. And finally, we have Sharpedo with the Light Board and the ability to speed boost with Aqua Jet, Protect, Ice Beam, and Scald. So, let's get into this. Like all my previous videos, I'm gonna do about 20 minutes. So, when it becomes so, in about 20 minutes, which for my time will be about 2 o'clock, then we'll stop. And we'll try to get as many battles as we can. Hopefully, they will be good battles and it won't be like junk battles, but. This thing is searching. I'm gonna check my internet real fast. Okay, no, I'm good. Alright. So hit so her team is Gudra, Agron, probably Mega, possibly Mega. Let's see. Um Cloyster, Hydreigon, and Haxor is not possible leave. You could start off with the Agron to get the Mega Evolution off and then just do whatever. So I think he's gonna be grabbed, so I'm gonna go out into my Needle King. Okay, go back with Gudra. Um Hmm. Hmm. Well, he doesn't have a rapid spinner, so I can just set up my rock stars turn. Okay, and a cloister comes out. Now, this is where he's gonna shell smash. And I'm super effective to ice ghost spear and. and. Uh, Razor Shell, if he does have Razor Shell. So I'm just gonna Earth Power. Okay, that's a decent amount. Okay, so the Ice Ghost Spirit does come out. I'm gonna survive. Oh. Two crits. Three crits must be really nice. Okay, so the place has leftovers and not white orb. So I'm gonna predict that it's gonna go Ice Ghost Spirit again, and I'm just gonna switch it to Slow Chain. Oh, Cloyster learns Rapid Spin? Oh, okay, this is really bad now. So, Cloyster <laughs> learns Rapid Spin. I did not know that. So, okay, so this is Icicle Spear, Rapid Spin, and Toxic. I did manage to get the burn off, so that would negate the leftovers damage. But, this thing is Toxic, so he's gonna go switch out properly into Guja. So I'm gonna switch back into Nido King. There we go, switch out back into Blissey. And right now, I'm gonna set up the Stealth Rocks once again. So when the Cloyster comes back in, he's gonna die to the Stealth Rock. Doesn't matter because when the Cloyster switches back in, he's gonna die to the Rock. So I'm gonna set up my Toxic Spike here. And now I'm gonna Earth Power. We're gonna pass the Wish off to the Cloyster. There's the Cloyster. It's Poison and take the Rock damage. So I didn't know if the Wish would have gone off before the Rock damage. So that's why I was. Um, that's why I was unsure whether to do the um the toxic spike there. But since Agra is a steel type, it's not affected by the toxic spike, but thankfully it doesn't get rid of it. So I still have it for the Haxorus, the Blissey, and the Gujra. But here I think it's just an earthquake, so I'm gonna earth power. You know, it should be faster than Agra. They're a nice forty five percent. Aqua Tail. Alright. Since he has Aqua Tail, I'm gonna switch back into Sloking. It's not stabbing, I should be able to take it. Yep, there it is. 
Okay, now we could go for the flamethrower, but I'd rather go for the skull to burn aggro because he has two, possibly three physical attackers, but I highly doubt this Hydra is on a physical attack. Is it physical attacker because I only like, only I like physical attacks in Hydreigon more than specialty offensive Hydreigon in the UU tier because you have like Jarpedo and Infernus like that. But anyways, I'm just gonna Skull to try and burn these two Pokemon. So here goes out the Hydreigon. Uh, I am gonna get the Scar off. I don't get the burn, which is unfortunately. He's probably on Dark Pulse, so I can just switch into Fortune and get the Heal Bell off. Or the aromatherapy to heal my smoking poison. There's a dragon bolt. I'm immune. I don't know why I want the dragon bolt. I got the aromatherapy right here. Get rid of um smoking poison. And with Gujar out here, I can just go for Moonbox because Gujar can't really do anything against me. Like sure that's sludge wave, but I'm especially defensive. Okay, poison tail. Managed to get the poison, but that's alright. I just moon blast, 32%. Reduce special attacks, but we see here that this is a physical Gujra and not a special Gujra because it went for a sludge wave instead of um, a normal therapy. So I'm gonna wish you because, yep, there's another poison tail. It got a crit, but unfortunately, because of that, my forges would go down. Um, um, I give us a wish out to Needle Queen actually. Alright, nice, nice, nice. I'm gonna pass out the wish off to Needle King right here. Get the wish back up. So right now the Gujra, the and the Blissey have the plus only have the one layer of tactics by so I'm gonna set up the second layer just for the Haxorus. Ooh, heal bell. Okay, so none of those Pokemon are poison, but I just set up all three of my toxic spikes right here. To do multiple damage. Sorry, whoever that is. I can't Skype or whatever with you. But probably gonna go into the air ground, so I just had Earth Power. Because after box damage, Earth Power should be able to kill. Or just sacking out the Gujra. I don't know what she's doing because she's not getting the wishes off, which is interesting. Okay, going out to Blizzard again, taking the poison and rock damage. I'm pretty sure I have all three layers up, but just to make sure I'm going to set it up. Okay, yeah, I do have all three layers up. Okay, so there's the wish. I wasted a turn. Yeah, I did it. I wasn't sure, but I just had Earth Power here. Earth Power kills the run out the Stealth Rock damage, which I don't know why I just did in. Oh my! I I swear that must be a mineral. Okay, I'm gonna sack on my forges so I get a free switch into my smoking. Okay, so we see that the Aragon um miss. Yes, thirty arbiters now. Everyone is healthy. So I'm just gonna get some damage off. Okay, so he has Iron Dodo, so that's good to know. Now I can switch it through my Slow King here. And now I'm gonna Scald. Whether it switches to Hydreigon, if Hydreigon gets burned, that's residual damage. And Scald is damage to the Hydreigon. But we do see here that it switches into Haxorus. And that the Haxorus had more Breaker, alright? And leftovers. Interesting, interesting, interesting. But I can take an outrage because I have max HP. So I can freely go for an ice beam right here. Taking down the Haxorus. There we go. Living the outrage and killing the Haxorus off with the ice beam. Good, good, good. So now the Haxorus are at. Ah, worse. The Hydrogen's at 66%. The Aggro's at 90%. And the Blissey is now poisoned again. Probably gonna heal though. Get rid of the poison. So I can just go for a Scald. Seismic Toss, okay, so two Seismic Toss will take me out, but I'm just gonna get this thing low enough. Actually, I should save this thing for the Hydra, ah, uh, for the Aggron. So I'm gonna switch out into my Infernape here. Try in a Seismic Toss. Oh, Heal Bell. Interesting. So right now I can just Mock Punch. Everything is super effective to Mock Punch. Aggron can take a Mock Punch even though I'm Iron Fist and Muscle Bandage. But why why would you switch that in? I could have close combated. I could have taken power okay. Alright, so let's look for our next battle. <laughs> Alright, that took like fifteen minutes, so this might this is gonna be the last battle unless like 
I want to do a third battle, but it might not be. Oh my gosh, mosquito. Ah, dude. Ah, there's a mosquito in here. Ah. Okay, okay. So, this guy's team is Crocodile, Dublade, Vivalon, Sloking, probably Mega Sceptile, and Chandelure. Uh, probably gonna lead off with the Crocodile, so I'm gonna lead with the Sloking. I know it's super effective against Crocodile, but okay, so lead off with the Vivalon. Um, uh, probably gonna sleep out of me, so I'm gonna find Thor. Put also Bug Bugs. It's super effective damage, but yep, there's a sleep powder. Here comes the, um, what's it called? The Quiver Dancers, but I'm gonna switch it to my Hydreigon right now. I know this is a really, really big risk for the Bug Bug, but I figured that he'd do that. And I have a really big feeling that this is gonna be a focus now. I'm just gonna Outrage. Yep, focus dash. Okay, so here's a bug bus gonna kill off my hydrogen. That's perfectly fine. Critical hit. Okay, so we might have been able to live that. But it's fine here. Yeah, I can come in to my infernal right here. I can threaten the mock punch. Chandelure and Dublade can switch in right now. But I'm a mock punch. Okay, so he's gonna just sack out the Vivillon. So my scarf is gone, but this Vivillon, which is a major threat after um a couple compound eyes. So here we have Kugadal. Alright, this is going to be Scarf, go for Earthquake, but none of my other Pokemon want to take an Earthquake. I just a Mach Punch. Okay, there's the Earthquake, so it wasn't Scarf, or it might have been Scarf, but um, it just didn't happen. So I'm going to switch it to Sharpedo, I'm going to get the Protect off to get um, a plus one speed, even though I could have killed this thing with Aqua Jet. But I want this plus one speed first. So I'm gonna aqua jet right here, take out the crocodile, and now I will be at plus two speed. So I can I can outspeed um, the mega septile, which would be right here. And then I can go for an ice beam. This might not kill. Oh, it's gonna kill. He mega evolved. That was a bad choice because the ice beam might have not killed because I am a mixed sharpedo. Yeah, so he left. Okay. Alright. So that took two minutes. So I'm gonna go into third battle. Oh, okay, so here we have Hydreigon, Machamp, Empoleon Fortress, Florigis, and Dublade. Possible lead is Fortress to set up hazards, uh, Empoleon to set up hazards. So I'm gonna go out into Sloking. Oh, but we see the Dublade. I'm gonna flame door. Do you miss Pokemon take neutral damage? Is there anything? Oh my god. And the burn. Oh my gosh, I'm so, I'm so sorry. Oh, I hate when that screen pops up. I'm so sorry. So with the burn and Cindy Sword Dance, they kind of cancel. They cancel each other out. So he's at regular attack damage right now. I'm gonna go do a pretty big amount with that Shadow Beam, but I will be able to take the Dublade out. Oh gosh, my sinuses. He said no problem. Ah, oh, I feel so bad though. So here we have the Hydreigon. I'm probably going to go for a Dark Bolt, so I'm going to switch it to my Forges. This could be um, a Sludge Wave. Okay, no, just go for the Dark Bolt. This could be... Okay, so it's Light Form. Sorry for going off the tangents all the time, but... I think Hydreigon gets Sludge Wave or something. But since my Forges is Special Defense, I'm just going to go for a Moon Blast. So a U-turn. Probably going to switch out into Empoleon or his own Forges or the Forges. There's the Forger. Okay, so this thing is going to be setting up hazard, so I'm going to switch into my sloping. Yep, there's the rocks. I have nothing to get rid of rocks on my team. Luckily, I have no focus as users or and none of my Pokemon low. But we see now that he's just going to sack the forges off down to my flamethrower. So he only has rocks up, which is amazing. Because Empoleon can't get anything up besides rocks. So this thing is going to dark push again. I get to dive into my own Hydreigon. And then just kill him with Outrage since I'm Scarf and this Hydreigon is Life Force. So I'll outspeed. I could also switch to the Infernape and try to just go for Mach Punch. But I want to risk this because I don't really need slow Soaking anymore. I do have Floor Jisk for Machamp. And um, I have Infernape for Empoleon and stuff like that. So I think I can live one Dark Force and I should be able to get this Ice Beam off. Yep, there I live the Dark Force. As long as they don't flinch. There we go. Ice Bring. Oh my god. Okay, Ice Bring, ah, Ice Beam brings Hydreigon down to the 1%, so 
I'm gonna switch to my Infernape, let my Slow King kill with the Regenerator, and then I can just Mach Punch. Oh no, the Life Orb will take out the Hydreigon and my Infernape will resist it. I could switch, I could have switched out into my Forge, so Infernape didn't take that much damage, but it's fine. I'm gonna U-turn here. Because unless there's my champion scarf, I outspeed it. There's a U-turn. Um, I'm gonna switch out into Needle King right now because I resist its dynamic punch. Oh, but we see here he went for the knockoff. Okay, now I can set up my rock to get residual damage on. Okay, so my champ has ice punch. If my champ okay, so my champ has knockoff and ice punch. Gosh, sorry, my lips are getting really moist. Now okay cars, we get it. We get it. I'm a bad commentator and you need to distract me. Okay, now if this my champ doesn't bolt a punch, I should be able to live it since I'm bold. So I'm just gonna set up a layer of toxic spikes for the floor just. But no, okay, so it goes to another ice punch. I go down. Now I can switch into my slow king right now. And see, because of the regenerator, I got some health back. And now I can just go for psychic. Because I outspeed my champ. Psychic stab. It should be able to kill as long as this thing is not assault fest, I think. My slow king should be able to kill. What? Why? 1 bro 3 to 229. Oh, why? <laughs> Anyone who watches this video who comments down below what I just did. Why did I think a Pokemon with slow in the name was gonna outspeed him a champ? Okay, well, I'm gonna switch it to Forges. I'm gonna take a lot of damage from that um, Bullet Punch, but I do a lot of damage back with the Moon Blast. So the bullet punch is probably gonna come again. I'm gonna switch it to Hydreigon. Yep, take the bullet punch. And then I'm gonna lock myself into Earthquake. Alright. How much does Earthquake do? Earthquake is 30%. So after the Earthquake, as long as Fudge doesn't have any recovery, so after the Earthquake, Fudge just will go down. Or I will get a critical. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. The, he would have lived if it wasn't for the critical and he would have killed my Hydreigon. Okay, sorry. Not yet. Not yet, Charles. I'm so, not yet, Nick or Trevor. I'm sorry. Okay, so now my champs comes in. It could have guts boosted, so the bullet punch would be increased, but I should be able to still live a bullet punch. Yeah, that's GG to him. Because even if he killed my Hydreigon right now, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. But even though if he did kill the Hydreigon, I still have a full health Charpedo there to kill off the Empoleon. But yeah, that's GG. GG. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure if you wanna battle me, I'll leave my show down down below. I'm alright, I don't have to. You okay, fine. I don't I don't have to go. I don't alright. But if you guys wanna battle me, I'll leave my show down name down in the description below. And yeah, I'll eat pizza right after this. And thank you all for watching. Um gosh, where's my outro? Thank you all for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. And until next time, goodbye.